What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I am your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having a great Sunday. I'm here to talk with you. Uh, hopefully, the service is working if you guys were tuning in last night. Try to give you a day four recap. We talked about Oren Burks and all the things the Eagles are doing here. But uh, look, we're here to talk about the top 200 remaining free agents in case it was all choppy for you. You couldn't see it. But want to give you a quick video just to take a look that there are still options out there. We've got the draft coming up. So no fear here, ladies and gentlemen. Just stay patient. The Eagles will continue building something special here. And if you're not an Eagles fan and you're watching this show, you may want to close your eyes at this point. Let's take a quick little look at the updated depth chart with everyone in green here being new to the roster. All of the people in gray are reserve future signings. But you can see the Eagles just got their backup quarterback. I know a lot of people feel a certain way about not getting Justin Fields. I'm okay with it. You got two years left on Kenny Pickett for, uh, you know, it's cheaper. And you have them locked up for two more years on that rookie deal where you don't have to make the decision on the fifth year option. You got a backup quarterback you could possibly trade after this year, trade them this year, whatever happens. You know, hopefully you don't have to use them maybe in weeks 17 and 18, but. Uh, look, um, Tanner McKee got some competition for backup there. All about it. Now, Saquon Barkley, very excited there. Maybe you add more in the draft. Receiver, I would like to see in the draft. Maybe you add again, you know, possibly in free agency. We've talked about some of those guys, so we'll take a look. Tight end, I would uh, definitely look to add there. Offensive line depth, I would add there. But we got Matt Hennessy now on the defensive side of the ball. Huge signing there, too. Bryce Huff and C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Devin White. You got Vaughn and Burks now as depth. And you talk about how they can help in special teams. Uh, you know, not only off-ball linebackers, but Zach Vaughn really can help you on the edge. Burks can help you a little there, too. Uh, you know, blitzing at certain times. And we talk about his athleticism, what he is able to do. So I like the addition so far for the Eagles. Obviously, the versatile safety in C.J. Gardner-Johnson, who can play some nickel, can do all kinds of things as a true Swiss Army knife in that secondary. So excited there. And then the special teams we talked about, I actually feel pretty damn confident there. So very excited that we have all of our specialists lock up and Isaiah Rogers can help you in the return game. If he's not starting as a corner, but I think he definitely could be now Covey, one of the best returners. So very excited there. So just to recap, you see the four people they added on offense and the five that they added on defense. And I do think that they will continue to add and, you know, maybe a few in free agency, the draft coming up next month. So very, very excited. And they do have some free agents remaining that you will see some listed here, but 13 guys remaining for the Eagles out of their free agents. But now let's get into the top 200 remaining here in free agency. And we'll start her off with the offense. We're going to go through each position here, give you the top guys left at each of those positions. Love to hear your thoughts, but at quarterback, you know, if you're an Eagles fan, you've got it pretty much locked up. Maybe you grab an undrafted kid to compete this offseason. Uh, Six-round pick, you don't have a seventh. Um, whatever it may be, you bring in another veteran, you know, an older veteran. I like uh, Huntley. We've talked about him this offseason, and I think that he would have been a good backup, you know, to compete with McKee. But, hey, you got Pickett, so you don't have to add anyone. But you see the top 14 guys there. Let me know if you like any of those players and you think the Eagles should add them. Uh, at running back here, you know, running back, I think you should add a couple more. You should at least have six, seven guys competing for those four or five spots there. So, you know, Boston Scott, maybe he comes back. Rashad Penny, highly doubt it. He couldn't even beat out Boston Scott last year. You talk about Tyrion Davis Price, the Eagles have, and Lou Nichols. So you've got some guys there, but maybe you add more of a veteran player. Dobbins, maybe get you on know, a cheap deal, hope that he can stay healthy as part of a rotation. But you know, you've got some options there. Alexander Madison's out there. Cordero Patterson, we talk about how he can help you all over the place. So to me, you know, still some options at running back if you want to add in free agency. Let me know if you like any of those guys. Now at wide receiver, Mike Williams and Hunter Renfro both made available here, released by their teams. And, you know, Tyler Boyd, a free agent. You've got a bunch of guys here that, you know, are veterans. And we got Devontae Parker. And I think for me, you know, obviously – he's a little bit older and uh, I think he's like 31 going to be 32, but I think that you could add more to that room and they're going to, and you definitely going to do that in the draft, but um, you know, adding another free agent, maybe convince Mike Williams, a team friendly deal, still get paid a little bit. Um, I would not be against that, but uh, he's one of the better receivers when healthy, but got to stay healthy there. Everybody's got to stay healthy. So uh, 
you see uh, Alameda Zacchaeus down there. Talked about it. I would bring him back. Um, I think, you know, actually utilize him. I would be all for that. But there are your top 20 receivers now. I've got 22 tight ends here because the Eagles need to be looking at tight ends. And I've talked about it all damn offseason here. Bryce and Hopkins, I think, would be a great fit. But some other options here, um, you've got Michael Pruitt, Logan Thomas is out there, Jeff Swain. So definitely some guys that could, you know, provide some depth there. But I would look into the draft to add a true number two. You've got Calcaterra, Albert O. Uh, you know, you've got Jenkins, I believe, and Togiai as well. So, look, you've got some competition, but I would definitely look to add there. Now on the offensive line, talked about it. You could use depth. You got Hennessy and you got a couple other guys. I like Fred Johnson as a tackle, but maybe some more tackle or guard or center depth. A guy like Connor Williams who can play or guard and center, maybe just a tackle like David Bakhtiari. Um, obviously, he could probably start somewhere still. Guys like Andres Pete who can play tackle and guard. So some versatile options out there. The Eagles should be looking to add depth and they could do that in the, well, they're definitely going to do it in the draft, but they could look to do it in free agency as well let me know if there was anyone on that offensive line you like maybe your top five from the offense or top five at each position top three whatever is on your mind i'd love to hear it on this sunday but uh, let's take a gander at this defense here and i'll be back later tonight live for sicko sunday but uh recording this one early gonna try to get it out when i can who knows this day's just been crazy but uh top uh, 20 interior d lineman let's jump right into it Talked about it. Maybe you bring in a vet like Campbell, but dude, you've got Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, Milton Williams, even a Jobo and to a below two. I feel confident in. So uh, you don't have to, but I think you could add here. You could always look into the draft, but I think, you know, maybe you bring in a veteran with Fletcher Cox gone. So maybe you're bringing a Campbell, but I like Tier Tart. I like guys like Austin Johnson, maybe, you know, a Lawrence guy. So you've got some versatile pieces here, but, um, I feel pretty confident about what the Eagles have. Now at edge, a lot of question marks as to what's going to happen with Reddick. You know, Sweat obviously restructured. You sign Huff. I would love to see all three staying here with Nolan Smith and Brandon Graham. But if you move on from him, there are some other options out here. Talked about Old Man River. Jerry Hughes would love to see him. You know, Chase Young maybe a little too high price there, and you might as well keep Reddick at that point. But you've got some other options here, but I think they will look to get younger. Already got Nolan Smith last year, but I think they will continue to add there. But, you know, obviously the Eagles love going in the trenches, and that's smart, man. That's how you win football games. It starts in the trenches. So let's get that pass rush going, but you see the top 20 there. Now, top 22 for the linebackers here, and Jerome Baker just signed by the Seahawks. So you've got Isaiah Simmons leading the way here now, and we've talked about him. Wouldn't use him so much as an off-ball linebacker all the time. I think he's one of those guys that maybe sees like a little under half of the snaps used as a weapon, but I think he would be very useful in Vic Fangio's defense. And I've talked about guys this offseason, you know, Jeremy Chin was one of them. And then talking about training for Marquise Bell, highly doubt the Cowboys do that, but just talking about that skill set. So wouldn't be against that. We talked about Zach Cunningham, his familiarity with Bobby King, the Eagles' new linebacker coach. Maybe you bring him back as one of the veteran pieces to help all of these young guys. So I think there are a lot of options here. I guess I got Cunningham down there. Choice. I just realized that. Whoops. But um, yeah, you've got some pieces here. We just added Oren Burks, who we talked about can provide depth, also help you on the special team. So maybe you don't need Sean Bradley. I love the dude, special teams ace, but I think Oren Burks, you know, uh, that's kind of an upgrade there so we shall see but need some more linebacker depth there so we'll see if the eagles add let me know if you like any of those guys there then the top 20 free agent quarterbacks uh here and tradavius white you know obviously all pro got banged up only played like four games last year but uh man anybody who gets him you know obviously probably won't get the highest you know paid there because of that injury but whoo we now I don't think the Eagles need to go that route. We've talked about it. You got Isaiah Rogers coming and you have Slay, you have Ringo and Ricks, and we'll see what happens with Bradbury, Zach McPherson coming back from injury. So feel confident there. CJ Gardner Johnson can help you at uh, nickel there, but you know, I think the Eagles will look to add. And we talked about guys like Tavier Thomas, Miles Bryant, Rocky Asin, Chandon Sullivan, Henderson Herndon, Jerry Jacobs, even, and maybe Avante Maddox returns. So there are options. Antonio Hamilton, Kendall Builder, you know, so maybe the Eagles add in free agency and in the draft, but they could definitely look to add to the room. They've got a lot of young talent there. Just not so, so sure it's anyone you feel super confident is the future there. So 
you got to continue to look to add and get better at all times. And we're trying to win a damn Super Bowl this year. So, hey, you never know. Maybe we get a guy like Jadavius White, move on from somebody, and Lord knows. But um, definitely some good options. Let me know if you like anyone there. And then finishing us off here, the safeties, and I've got 22 with. We talked about Kyle Duggar on that transition tag. Anyone can try to sign him, but they can match it. So I would love to see Kyle Duggar. Everybody talks about Justin Simmons, and rightfully so. You know, obviously with that familiarity with Vic Fangio, I would love to have him here. But, you know, the same goes for Eddie Jackson, but not Eddie Jackson would be depth. Justin Simmons would be your surefire starter. Same with Kyle Duggar. I think Ashton Davis could definitely be a starter here. Um, Julian Blackman talked about, you know, Tracy Walker coming in as depth. There are good options here as starters and depth. So the Eagles, uh, obviously, we talked about it. They have cast space, and, you know, it's being reported that they have $39 million. Uh, let's be real here. That's not what it is. But uh, let me know who out of these safeties that you like because the Eagles can do whatever they like, and they will continue to do so. Now, those contract details that I need are not out yet, so I cannot give you the cap space. I promise you I will give it to you as soon as those numbers come out. But saying that the Eagles have $39 million is kind of just ridiculous at this point because there are nine players that are not being accounted for when they are saying that. So we need cap hits for nine different players. I could give you an estimate. People keep asking, you know, dude, who knows? Because it really, how, how we back end some of these, a lot of these guys have very low cap hits. We know that it's only 3.9 for uh, Saquon Barkley. I think Kenny Pickett's only like 1.8, 1.4, something crazy like that. So we're going to be adding nine players. Now they're going to be replacing other nine. So the, the way you got to try to figure it out, you know, it could be 25, it could be 30 million. They have money. And I've told you other ways that the Eagles can create even up to 25 million more. So, dude, they've got cash space. Don't let anybody tell you they don't. And don't let them tell you just random numbers because I, you know, applaud that they're trying to figure it out because every year, you know, before it was, oh, cash space isn't real. And finally, I'm forcing their hand to learn it. But it's like, Dog, if you're going to talk about that stuff or you're going to try to take this part from it, like you take enough, I do believe. And I know a lot of you guys talk about that stuff, but it's like, look, man, maybe just leave this one to me. <laughs> you know, so I promise you not lying to you. I'm not holding on to those numbers. As soon as they come out, I will get them to you. But if you enjoyed this show, you got anything from it, do me a favor. Hit that like button down below. I'll be back later tonight live for Sicko Sunday, taking all your questions, comments, recap, and everything. That happened this first week so far of free agency. Any new moves that are made in this day, I will let you know. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys are all enjoying the day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. And, uh, look, uh, be safe out there. You need anything, please feel free to reach out. But until next time, I am Jimmy Smith, and this is On the Road to Victory. And as always, say it with me now. Go Birds! Go Birds!